Hi everybody and welcome back to the episode of Thronebreaker Ozzy Witcher Tales. We're here in Angren. New area, it's full of swamps and monsters. It's great, it's lovely. You should buy a summer home here, I think. Um, before we get moving... Oh my sweet child, we got chats need to my have. Help with anything? Anything at all? I'd like also, I love that the CD Projekt Red thing's up there and Nickers was here as well. Oh wow. Ever travelled with an army before? Frankly? can't say that I have. You folk are my first. And let me say, it's not nearly as dull as I expected. Your traveling companions are uh, fascinating, truly. Is that so? Who, if I might ask? Um, let me think. Then there's that aged woman. Uh, Isabel, is it? Oh, your grace, a complete lunatic, that one. Did you know she believes the world to be round? Round! Oh, like great. an egg! <laughs> we got a flat earther with us. I'll get the dunce head out. Hmm. Uh, and just between the two of us, the Sorry, Bonham, it's just a deal breaker. Xavier gives me the wings, truth be told. Could just be on account of his face looking like a piece of taffy stuck to the sole of a boot. Oh, damn, yeah. That's, that's ruthless, Barnabas. Oh, Didn't mind you back in. Oh, right. A word of advice never play Gascon at cards. He's a hustler, that one. And he tells tall tales. Um, about debts, specifically. Ones that I supposedly owe him. And the Reynard fellow. <laughs> what a jester. Always good for a laugh. Really? I'm sorry, what? Every day he barks at me, standard attention, with a perfectly straight face. And last, he asked them, <laughs> asked if I'd served in the Norm Army. <laughs> I mean, really. Sometimes I just can't with that man. Very thorough, Barnabas. I thank you. Thanks, Barnabas. Time I attended to other matters. Rainer, the court jester. Ah, yes, you're still. All right. Yes, oh God, it's ugly. Oh shit. I haven't had the opportunity to thank you. Had you not been so alert, we'd have fallen to our deaths in Mahakam. I merely did my duty, Your Majesty. <laughs> Modest as ever. Yet once the war is over, I shall make certain you're properly rewarded. For some plastic surgery. My lady, the one reward I desire is victory. Your victory. Oh, thanks, Other Lemons. Matters await my attention. We should... As you wish, my lady. Get out of here. Oh, thank God. Gabor! It's good to see the Queen. How can I help you? We haven't had a chance to speak since we left Mahakam. Why join us? Or decide to leave your homeland, for that matter? As I said, I was in your debt. Still am. You're a dwarf of honor. I'm pleased. But see, when it comes to murdering whole convinced with reason families. for you to leave your clan. Not about to let me off easy, are you? All right. I may have been motivated elsewise. By a guilty conscience? The horridness with the Fuchses. All that blood and mud. It went too far. I tried to talk it out with the elders. Then brush me aside like a wee bear. But that weren't the whole of it. I saw the shite dwarves living in your cities go through. Thought I'd forget once I came home. Got back to dealing with my own problems. Only, can he forget something like that? I've got to help, any way I can. Nothing would come of my sitting on my arse in my hackle. I understand, Gabor. And I know you'll find a way to help. Go ahead, Gabor. We'll return to this conversation later. You little cutie. No skin off my back. All right, and then there's Gascon. Hey, ho, how's my favorite queen in the north? Ever have regrets? Feel remorse. For what? Oh, I don't know. Killing innocents, perhaps. Murdering travelers, pilgrims. I've always warned them. Won't touch a hair on your heads, provided you don't resist. So, see, gave them a choice. Besides, innocents, please leave. We both know those to be mythical creatures. Everyone's got something on their conscience. So there's always call for murder. That's right. Dead right. You need but answer it. Damn. 
It's time I attended to other matters. You're grim, Gascon. You're grim. Yes, Your Grace. Reynard, you fought in the first war against Nilfgaard, did you not? Yes, Your Grace. Though, as a mere captain then. Huh. Get shit on captains, you're only mere. Were they equally cruel? Did they scorch fields? Turn peasants into slaves? No, Your Grace. They fought with honor in those days. So, what's happened? Why the change? Dirty bastards. It's said Emperor Emir Var Emrys's heart hardened over the years. He's grown crueler, more ruthless. His soldiers' zeal for violence has followed suit. But you don't say that. No, Your Grace. To your mind, why do they now despise us as they war against us? It is ever easier to loathe those you know. Before the first war, they knew nothing about us. Then they saw they the better weapons, larger cities, superior craft. But in our towns, waste flowed through the streets in open gutters. And they concluded we weren't their equals. It's far easier to kill when one holds such a belief. It's damn, time dude, I attended damn. to one of my... Isabel's not gonna say anything. Please to see. Due Maybe to I should give her another chance at the course. D too. I feel like I don't I'm underutilizing her. What do I get? Oh, here's the deck. All right, let's have a looky. Speaking of deck, what have we got? There's, so yeah, boost allies around by the total damage taken during this battle. Feel like I'm underutilizing that big time. Holy fey. Right, do any of my things even have order? Oh, you do. Yeah, she's got, and so do you. I was just looking at Rainid. Right, where's the dwarves? There's one. Set the unit's power equal to Mahakam Shield's power. Shield bearer's power. Charge two. Okay. Okay. Um, would I use it? Eh, I don't know. What about... Where's the other dwarves? And I got bench lemons. There's one. Move two units with the same power to the other row. On the other side. So they that to be my same power? They got a lot of shield, like armor. Okay, again, not stoked with that. Damage an enemy and all our enemies with the same power by two. Nah, not a big fan of that one either, to be honest. Okay, so they only are actually not gonna. I don't think I'll use the dwarves, to be honest. What I would like to use maybe is. If I get rid of one of them, put Isbel back in. Yeah, we'll give Isabel a chance. Oh, I was just still saying I need to look at things. Oh, that's right, the crow, I think. Where is it gone? I remember. Wherever the fuck did it go, though? Am I blind? There it is. Move six enemies, random enemies, to the other row and damage them by two. That ain't half shabby. Uh, I think I'll keep my ones. I actually really like my my cards let's look at the upgrades though cruise okay 2000 okay let's just wait i'll probably do this one next need more wood because again those upgrades i'm not actually that like fussed about now to be honest but right, give me that shit so 2,000 wood, let's keep an eye on that. Great, we're in the fucking swamps. It's, it's all gross and just gross. All right, let's 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 map out a course, shall we? So, aye, we be here. All right, we literally can't go very far, so, oh. Go to this little top bar, keep an eye out for loot. Aye, keep an eye out for me buried treasure. There's lots of loot over there, which I can't get to just yet. Okay. This is where main story is about to happen. Here we go. Bridge of the Yuruga. Hidden among brambles, Meave watched the Nilfgaardian sentries atop the palisade. In full gear, alert in stance, they looked sharp and ready to defend the stronghold. Blast! Meave hissed, for she now knew Red Lobinden would not fall by surprise. 
A siege would be needed, but it would slow her advance. Yet there was naught she could do, as this was her one road to Angren and to Caldwell. Reynard wiped the sweat from his brow, donned his helmet, and dropped his visor with a tap. On your command, your majesty. Order your force to attack where you live in, order your force to stand down. Oh, Very well. We mustn't delay. Reynard, our plan of attack. Armoured infantry to lead and take the first salvo upon their breast, scaling ladders to follow. Afterwards... Masterful. Truly masterful. Interrupted Gascon. Yet, despite the mastery, fit to be improved. How namely? Hold back your force. Lie in waiting. I'll take ten good men and open the gates for you. Wide. And how do you aim to achieve this? Really? Ask Reynard. Knock and claim to be a trinket peddler, I suppose. Or perhaps one of Lebioda's devout disciples. Must you know every last detail? Where's the fun in that, sir? There's none in warfare. Never. Seethed Reynard. For war is no farce. Your Majesty, he stands no chance. Not the slightest. None at all, I concur. Yet his eagerness intrigues. Let's see what he can do. Reynard did not approve of Meave's decision. This was clear. Yet he dared not undermine it. Don't back chat me, Reynard. blessing now his. You walk out thin tyrant, stand my dick. And set off straight for the stronghold gate. Lambs to the slaughter, muttered Reynard, shaking his head. My queen, it's not too late. We can always. Shh. Look. Already at the gate, Gascon lifted his arm in a gesture of peace, then merrily bantered a bit with the guards. A moment later, the gates jerked into motion. But. How? No matter. The gate stands open. We must attack. Meave raced off towards the fortress without even glancing back. She knew well her soldiers would follow. What the fuck? Okay, right, yeah. There, there's many questions here. The guards continue their attempt to close the gates, but Gascon's men quickly dispose them, thrusting their knives between gaps in the heavy plate. The Lyrians raised their fists in triumph and cheered, but Meave was quick to silence them. The celebration was premature, true. The invaders lost the tactical advantage, but had not yet been defeated. Story battle, short metal. Go. Let's fuck some shit up. One rounder. Alright, alright. Oh, there's this belt. There's you. There's you. Yeah. I like the Grey Rider. I don't need two of you with no bomber. I like you. Barnabas? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, let's, just, let's stick with this. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, How come you got so many fucking mean to start with? To After four turns on turn start, draw a card if you're losing. Eh? The shit? Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just do this. Vickers, no! Oh, fuck. These things are gonna be... Oh. I'll take care of you lot. Don't worry that. Wow. A what? Oh, the Stray's Infiltrators! Oh. I didn't even realize. Alright, 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 I'm down with this. Um, questions. Oh, there's gas gone. Son of a bitch. Now is a waste of time for one like me. I'm staying off the range row because I don't want to keep, keep boosting up this dude's this gas gone. Do we have any more people fighting up here that I don't know about? Oof. Leave him alone. Right. Up. We'll catch them all! Okay, Ma. Take care of you. I'll relieve you of that pouch. Oh, I can't even, I have to play a guy, don't I? Uh, I guess we'll play one down here. The chase is on! So Gascon's destroying shit. Gascon's destroying shit. You're not losing too, you're winning. Come on, game. Keep up with me. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I broke it. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Fuck. Thank you. Alright, how's... Current boost 16. Yo, I like this though. Oh, I should be using the Grey Rider. Damn it. As you command. Oh, I forgot all about the Grey Rider. Boosting up, gas gone. He's not losing, so that means I'm winning. I mean, he can't draw cards. Oh, fuck. The trouble is, though, he's got so many cards that want to use abilities that it slows the game down. Look at it, it's chugging along. Just waiting. I don't know what this means. I don't know what that means. We just have to sit back and sort of relax and hope the game can figure itself out without breaking. Again, he's got. Yeah, there we go. Just takes a little while. Ooh, no, don't kill him. No! How the fuck did that happen? Life is mine now. Why is everything on fire? Oh, dicks. Oh, dicks. 36, though. Left, right, left, right. That's okay. It's okay. The girls get that boost, son. So you can guess I'm killed someone. Now the game will chug for a minute or two. That damage is 36, and then she's about, they're about to damage me some more. Fuck, what are these things doing? Wow. This is a strong shit. She's got a lot of people on a living health, though, so if I can use Meme's ability next turn, if the game will ever continue, uh, I can do like 4, 8, 12, oh, there we go. 16, 20 damage. 19, she got armor. Whoa! Jesus, fuck. That's not cricket. Alright, first point of order. Fuck all you. Um, do you know what we might do? No, let's, let's hang on to it. Barnabas! Attack! Damage for units by three. I've already damaged the destroyed them. It's dead. I uh, can get a boost by 10 after 3 minutes or so through that unit is up. No, no, no. Use that. Damage unit by 3. I've already damaged. Okay, so. I don't want to damage. Uh, I can destroy them. How about you? Just you and you. He lost a lot of health. Good. You two, boom! Bomb this shit. Watch your heads. <laughs> Catch. Here we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Literally, literally, everything's on fire. Still losing though. I'd like to point out. Still like to point out I'm losing. And now the game will <laughs> slow down again. This is going to be a long battle because everything's just taking a sweet time. 140. This belt. Why did I ever doubt you? I'm just still gonna use Gabble next. Come on, game. There's so many cards waiting to use abilities, it's not funny. God, Isbel, you're gonna save us here. My sweet baby child, Isbel. Here we go. Here we go. Little. All roads lead to wow. Fuck this shit. Stop it. Stop it. Good. Okay, do you know what? Have all time. Have all done in a jiffy. Yep. Alright, by 15. Well, I could. I need to kill these guys. I need to do like. Oh, yeah, he's an. You're annoying. You die. You're also annoying. You die. That's fine. Now the game will think for five minutes while it waits its turn. So I've got, I've got a 32 point swing here with Ga uh, Gascon, which actually gives me the lead. Your what humble the sir. What the fuck? This, oh. Okay, so we need to finish this fight then. We do. 
Swing is starting. Trouble is now he's gonna he's gonna have a fucking like nearly a sixty point swing on me. Luckily I've got quite a sizable lead, but still. Come on, game, you can do it. There's so much happening. Here we go. Here we go. Oof. All right. Do you know what we do now? Ooh. Oh, so good! I've got, got Isbel with a boost of 200 and. Don't boost him. Oh, poor Nerf Guardians. Poor, poor. Poor, poor Nerf Guardians. I don't think even you guys can save this. Ow, stop it. Right, Isbel. I'd hoped we could solve this some other way. Oh, do I fuck her ability up? Because she used to wait. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Get on my side, Gascon. I fucked her up. Damn, I gotta murder them. It don't matter. Current boost 292. Damn it. Stay on my side. On he for you, my lady. Oh well. Isbel though. Jesus. Right, note to self. Isbel is actually really good. Gascon seemed a fiend as he fought his way to the keep, then single-handedly killed the commander. Suddenly Damn. leaderless, the Nilfgaardians laid down their arms. Cowards. My my Gascon. Color me surprised. Pleasantly so, I trust. Don't fish for compliments, it doesn't suit you. Besides, you know you deserve both medal and title. Damn, dude. <laughs> I shall hold you to it, my queen. In due course. But I must know how. What ruse persuaded the exactly. guardians to open the gate? She you say he's got booze or something? Come, come. My delightful charms, no ruse. Oh, I see. Not one to share secrets. Unremarkable, as I see it. I'd hold my tongue too, were my conscience thus burdened. I've done now to hide my shameful past, friend. I was a brigand, indeed, yet. Do not dare take me for a fool. You know of what I speak. Yet I don't. Raymond, yeah, what the what hell's going on? What the devil's is with you? Your Grace, in Mahakam, the Nilfgaardian letter we managed to intercept. Consider your offer accepted. Direct Meave and her force to the agreed site. We await their arrival. <gasps> your reward shall be as agreed. It was Gascon who told us Caldwell had received Angren to rule. It was Gascon who suggested we ride for Lobindon. Here, the Blackclads willingly opened the gate, for they expected him to deliver a prisoner. You! I don't... No, we I must be on the side. This. No, it, it cannot be. Deny it, Gascon. Go on. Tell me I'm wrong. He's right. Oh, Gascon, no. Do you require any more proof, Your Grace? What do they promise you? Amnesty? Coin in heaps? Ah, both. I knew Nilfgaard wouldn't parley with me as a matter of course. To be treated seriously, I needed something they valued. A stroke of luck, it was the chance to free you from Coldwell's grip. It was in Edurn that we first spoke. Then came to an understanding after Rosberg's fall. Why do I still live then? Why not snatch me under Knight's mantle, drag me to Red Lobindon in chains? Me. I sought to sell you out, I did, and aimed to gain by it. Yet in Edurn, you earned my respect. In Mahakam, my admiration. I swore then I wouldn't follow the terms of the accord I'd made. Instead, I'd let you into the fort and make damn sure the Commandant couldn't reveal the truth. Alas, seems I underestimated Raymond. 
flattery will get you nout. You, sir, are a traitor. Ah, oh, please, friend. You appear to me a pot that calls the kettle black. Well, what? Reynard? What does he mean? I've no notion, your grace. Not the slightest. No, Reynard. Truly. <laughs> and I had you pegged for a man of honor. Come now, Reynard. Not my team. You sent secret missives to Villain. Go on, you really should tell your queen. What? Reynard? His Highness guest chambers in Mahakam. One of my lads snuck in. Found a letter bearing the signature of one Reynard Odo. Reynard, I beg you. Say it's not so. Tell me it's a filthy lie. Uh, I, uh, your grace. I'd hoped His Highness and you would reconcile. To see son stand against mother rent my heart. I, 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 I wish to help. Behind my back. Your Majesty. Damn, you sued. I sought merely to push the, the trust to circle, and you're both out of it. To open his eyes. So say you now. Her. Yet I can't know what was in the letters. I can't know what pacts you made. And alas, I can no longer take you at your word. I'm not alone in having deceived. Yet I am in repairing my wrong. Me felt a tempest rise inside her. Yet she could not release it, lest it cloud her view. She would solve the problem, strike it from her mind, and resume her journey at once. Oh, now I'm going to make a choice, aren't I? I should look past these betrayals at once. Oh, I can kick them all out. No, look, look. They're both done bad. Agreed. Gascon has made up for it. Rain had better fucking make up for it. Because I... I'm going to take the soft option and let them stay. But don't tell them any secrets, Meve. Secrets just for us. Drawn and quartered, I should have you both. I can't believe you can kick them both Yet out. In truth, I cannot do without your aid. Exactly. Now smart more than decision. Ever. Soft, Tis the but smart reason I decision. Show mercy and forgive. Your grace, perhaps made with doubt, but is the right decision. I shall prove it. Thank you. I hope so, Raynard. Raynard and I rarely see eye to eye. But under the circumstances... Second is every word. Oh, shut your damn traps. And I believe you're needed in the wagon train. Now! The Queen's wish was clear and fierce. Gascon and Reynard slid off, leaving Meave to her thoughts. From the Palisades rampart, Meave gazed out over the marshlands across the Aruga. The Queen sighed deeply. She expected great challenges in Angren. She had also expected, even hoped, to find the one traitor in her midst. I had two. But two. And both her close aides de camp. She felt a weight upon her heart now. Blasted all. She muttered. Not the first dagger I've taken in the back. Likely not the last either. Yet to pity my lot will help not at all. Do you know we need to turn for help? Gabor. From the captive Nilfgaardians, we learned Caldwell was at Tuzla Castle, in Angren's very heart. A small detachment would remain at Red Lobinden, while the Queen, with the rest of her force, set off to face the treacherous Count. Oh, Mom, damn. I must speak to you when you find a free moment. What? Is it like a... Go chat with her, kind of thing? Hell yes, it is. I'm pleased to see you again, Mom. You need something. You, you requested me. You wish to speak with me? Yeah. In private? Yes, Mom. I've given thought to certain matters. The time's come to explain and reveal my decisions. What? I've not been entirely honest. What? But I've seen you very much deserve the truth. More betrayal, God. Damn it, me. You're brave, wise, and above all, I just started to you're like you, Isabel. Heart. And thus, you're unlike any other ruler I've ever met, had dealings with. Isabel, what is it you wish to say? You're starting to worry me. Exactly. I told you of Sintra and Sodden. Do you recall? Vaguely. It's true, I took part in that war. Yet, I fought for the Empire. What? I'm not certain I understand. She was a Nilfgaardian. My name is Isbel Epmuirmos. 
of Nilfgaard. I wish I could say I am from a conquered province. I wish I had that luxury. But no, I hail from the city of the Golden Towers itself. My, I certainly not expected that. Please, tell me more. I went straight from the academy to the army, as majors do in Nilfgaard. Yet I truly believed our aim to be to build a better world. With our help, the majors, the Emperor conquered realm after realm, right up to the Amal Mountains. Yet he was not sated, and turned his greedy eyes to the north. But the north stood and faced him. I'll never forget the bloodbath he wrought in Sintra. It was unspeakable. He sought to intimidate us. He united us instead. Indeed. At Sodden, when chaos engulfed the Imperial army, I saw my chance to flee the madness and begin life anew. And I did just that. I never sought thereafter to rejoin my countrymen or return to my home. Instead, I stayed in the north and swore never again to use my magic to harm others. Yet I cannot stand idle as the Emperor perpetrates atrocity after atrocity. I wish to fight at your side. Yeah, no, you're welcome. All deserve a second Everyone's chance. getting a free fucking pass this episode. Yet from now on, there are to be no more secrets between us. Yeah, these two are on second chances. Bloody Gabor's on second chance. I think only these two Freaking ugly and ugly. Uh, they're on their first I chance. You. You've no idea what this means to me. Do you get superpowered now, Isabel? Oh, and Isabel, this must stay between us alone, for your own sake. I appreciate the concern, ma'am, but you needn't worry about me. I've lived for some time in the north, and dare say I know how to get by. Isabel Destroyer? Yeah. The city oh. of the Golden Towers. Don't think I know any soul who's seen it with their own eyes. Did you know many common folk believe they're made of real gold, the towers? Yet they're named for how the southern sun dances off their rooftops. My family lived in the capital long before Nilfgaard was ever an empire. The city is of great beauty, was always a source of pride, turned arrogance in time. When I was but a lass, my father would take me to the grand amphitheater to watch the gladiators fight. A daughter of Nilfgaard should grow accustomed to the sight of blood, he said, for to conquer the world was our destiny. Dreadful. He must have hated it. At the time, I saw nothing wrong in it. I admired the gladiators for their bravery, skill, finesse. Though now it shames me to admit it. Damn. Duty calls. I must go. Of course. Thanks, Isabel. I have a card to check out. Does I, does I, did I just lose her again? Okay, fuck. I didn't even get to use her. Isabel, Isabel, Isabel. Damage enemies at random by the Oh, fuck. So, instead of going healer, she's now gone destroyer. So I, I, so I never actually got to use that ability. I never got to use her ability. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Now we have a new ability, Isabel. I'll make sure I use it properly this time. Oh, to Balatine Caldwell from Duke Ardle Apti. Oh, god damn it. Your request to return to Lyria has been rejected. I agree with your argument that King Willem requires the support of an experienced politician. This is why I shall advise him, should the need arise. For now, your talents are more useful than Angren. As you know, the Emperor de Mar depends on the rapid delivery of building materials to our shipyards. I advise you to make this fulfillment of his wishes your top priority. Delays are unacceptable. Damn, you shit on Caldwell. I kill him. Oh, 
Okay. Good chatting with you, buddy. The map, the map. Oh, there's loot, so I can backtrack to this part. And there's battles and puzzles and more battles. Holy shit. And then the quest is waiting here, so you have to go, like, to this part. And you can go to this part. Man, this place is huge. This place is huge. Holy shit. Yeah, can I actually get to this part? I don't think I can. Alright, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, me. We got so much to do. Oh, what's this now? What is it? What is it now? Is there another card I need to look at? No? No, no reports. Oh, it's took an upgrades. Alright, that's fine. Alrighty, um, so much to do, so much to see. Swamp, going through muck. Got traders and people on their third and fourth freaking chance with me in my ranks. Uh, who's gonna stab me in the back next, I wonder? <laughs>